We go back to six and March to start off. That, that was the last game. Um, it's been a bit of surreal six months then. Yes, long time coming. Um, look, it's really positive that we're back on camp. Really looking forward to, to getting back into our environment and doing the things we know work well for us. And hopefully the girls have enjoyed um, the fact that there's a camp coming up and we can get back in competing together and enjoying the environment that um, is a big part of what we do, you know, working together um, and pushing each other because we're definitely going to have to do that with the opposition we have in front of us. What's the prep been like for this camp? I guess it's been quite different. Here. Well, we've had a lot more time than usual to, to look into games in detail, look into players that we're going to come up against and, you know, different systems and structures, etc. So in a way, it's been positive because it's allowed us to prepare in a slightly different way. But having said that, you know, there are certain things within the environment now that we're going to come up against in the next few weeks that are out of our control. And as coaches, that's uncomfortable um, because, you know, we step into a camp environment planning as best we can so that our preparation going into games for players is spot on. They're aware of all the different things that could happen on and off the pitch and we have suitable responses to those. For the environment we live in right now in the world, there are, you know, things that could happen that are out of our control that, you know, I guess that sentence says everything. Certain things are out of our control. So if negative things happen uh, in that sense, then we just have to adapt and, and push on. and try and work, I guess, in this camp in a way that's very different in the past, that we have lots of cover. Um, and if changes need to be made, we make them and we, we do the best we can in those situations. You've got Jess Fishlock available for the first time in this campaign. I mean, it's good for you to have a player of that calibre available for selection again. Yeah, look, it's great to have Jess back and also the likes of Gemma and Elise who would have been missing if this, you know, if this uh, game had been played when it was originally um, planned, obviously in April, obviously it would have been a home game rather than a away game for us. But it's nice to have players back from injury. They're all uh, pushing to get fully match fit right now, every single one of our players. So there's a different challenge there for us as a group. And we might have to modify certain things as we go through the week. But it's, look, it's, it's always a positive to have our players with high number of caps in our environment because of the learning experiences they've had over many years and how they can impact our younger players in the group. On the flip side of that, unfortunately, Megan wins in just she's uh, done a ACL in pre-season and what would you like to say to her? It's a real shame, really. Oh, yes, yeah, so disappointing not to have Megan with us because out of the, you know, the last crop of games we've had, she was one of our standout performers and it would have been nice to keep helping her push on within within our environment. But right now... Obviously, she has to step out of it, do our rehab to the best of her ability. We'll support her as we need to, um, but roll on, you know, the days to when we can get her back in our environment. Because away from the pitch, you know, she's a very uh, positive influence within the environment, a really positive character to have as well. So it'd be nice to have her with us, but unfortunately, right now, we can't. And with Cap for Sof uh, coming up, hopefully, if you pick her for the Norway game, um, how instrumental has she been for you? Yeah, look, first and foremost, she's our leader, she's our captain, she's part of an experienced group of leaders we have in, in the environment who work very well together. Um, and as I always say about myself, I think there's so much more potential still to, to get out of her, um, and every time she steps on the pitch for Wales, we hope that we can help her increase those levels even higher than she's she's performing week in, week out for Chelsea right now, and if she does that, she'll, be a, she'll have a massive part to play in getting the results we need over the next few months. Norway, they are one of the best teams in Europe, top of the group at the moment. What what sort of test do you expect them from them? Oh, a big test. You know, they, they have strength all, all through the team, you know, back to front. And there are areas, like any team would that we play, we have to prepare for areas that could cause us some problems, but areas we can try and exploit as well. You know, each game we prepare for, whether that's Faroes or Norway or Northern Ireland, we respect that opposition and we, you know, uh, prepare as best we can to do those things, uh, protect areas we need to. And there are many against this Norway team and they've proven they, they score goals for fun. So we have to make sure, you know, our defensive structure and organisation is is good and it's something we pride ourselves on, so that'll be no different. But, we, you know, we need to create opportunities as well and we have to find ways to be able to do that effectively. I find like these, these games are behind closed doors, so unfortunately fans can't attend. But what would you like to say for those you know be watching on the tv or tuning in on the radio yeah keep supporting us because it's one thing that the girls and myself absolutely love and have appreciated over the last few years in the last campaign and growing even more in this campaign 
they're a big part of what we do, irrelevant of whether we can hear them on the side of the pitch or not. You know, we, we recognise that there's a big chunk of people now supporting us and wanting us to do well. And that, you know, pushes our levels up every time we play. So we hope that that continues.